this afternoon we're joined by uh, Mr. David Milton. Welcome. Uh, thanks very much, Alexandra. Thanks for ha thanks for coming. Um, now I understand that this afternoon you're involved in the panel that we're hosting, and the topic is big data analytics. Yes. Which Derek certainly. was actually explaining to me is a direct uh, translation of a Chinese phrase. So it's not very uh, understandable for us English speakers. Okay. Do you want to talk a bit more about what you're going to dis be discussing? Oh, I think that what I'm going to talk about is the effect of, uh, on, on agency as such. And, and I think you see here today with the exhibition with so many great properties for sale and so much competition, agents are always looking to you know, um, have further reach, find more buyers and I think some of the what, what, what's happening online now with the market and the, and, and, the, and the analytics we're able to get, we're able to reach buyers more easily and I think be more focused in reaching the, the right buyer for the, the right property. Mm -hmm. So it's a, I'll say an ongoing marketing challenge. Of course. And um, in terms of your role at um, CBRE, yes. um, what, uh, what projects do you have in the pipeline at the moment that you can offer our Expo. Oh, look, we've got, we're featuring here Castle Residence. Right. Castle Residence, um, CBD location, prime location on Hyde Park, uh, above a new five star hotel with all hotel facilities for residents. So it's probably the first offering of its kind in Sydney wow. and um, being developed by Shanghai United. Um, very focused professional property group out of Shanghai that have set their business here. Um, construction's commenced. Um, Really, you know, terrific CBD investment, or, or a great property to be living if you're on a, if you're living in the CBD. I bet. And um, in terms of your relationship with Shanghai United, yes. Um, how did you facilitate um, the uh, difficulties between the Chinese market and the Australian market? Oh, I think we've we've been in this market for you know 15 years probably. So it's that's uh, I think you're just understanding. The in how people work, understanding them personally and what motivates them and how their company operates, you know, I think that's the first thing and then provide a, a solution to their needs. And here, well, this is a Shanghai United as a partnership of developers um, with, with their team here in Sydney and also in Shanghai that we visited and looked at a number of their sites when we first met with them. So we've got an understanding of the type of quality they do, what they're wanting to do as a company here. And, and we've worked very closely. I have a very big um, Chinese speaking team as well. So. Okay. You know the market is, is this is the, the you know the property expo is here very heavily geared towards the Chinese market. Yes. This function, um, we have a sales team. It's both you know we've, we've got 60 odd sales people, probably half of them speak Mandarin. Mm -hmm. So very much I think then catering for that market. Yeah. Okay. And um, obviously the Australian property property market has been gearing towards that Chinese cultural Chinese market for oh, as you said 15 years yes, now. Yes. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. Um, how can businesses better prepare? Um, for I guess the influx or or the um, cooperation with the Chinese market. Oh, I think it's. I think the first thing is you, you've got to have people that have an affinity of um, you know. So you, so if you're going to be doing business in China, you've got to have you know, people that speak Mandarin and have an understanding of the culture. Um, and I think that that's one of the benefits that Australia has that we have such a great Chinese popula Australian population. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of understanding, so it's it's you know developing a team or growing a team that, that you know speaks Mandarin, understands what the Chinese want, and I think are very service orientated. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, uh, tell us more about what CBRE is doing at the moment. Oh, okay, that's an easy topic that one. <laughs> well, I'm the managing director, and we've got a, the residential projects business, and, and we focus on on new developments, um, selling in Sydney, Melbourne. Gold Coast and Brisbane. Um, we, we've probably got. Um, I'd, I'd be biased if I didn't say that we're not the, we're the market leader. Um, <laughs> that we. But what I mean by that is we probably get one of the. We, we get the best projects, um, and, and we and we deal in in property sales right across Sydney, um, from the CBD out to sort of further northwest um, Rouse Hill. We've got beachfront apartments down the beach at Manly, um, eastern suburbs in Double Bay, Potts Point. Um, and then down south into the Cronulla area, Alexandria, like all areas, we, we've launched this weekend a, a project up at Macquarie Park, um, which is finished apartments. So with the university there, we expect there'll be yeah. a lot of parents you know, looking at the Chinese market, of a lot of Chinese students, mm. and their family often buy an apartment for them. FIRB approval is in place, so the, um, good, good pro project to be plugging here as well in that <laughs> case. Um, but. So we, we, we're very, we probably, you know, we, we, we specialise in, in, in the best new, selling the best new buildings in Sydney. Yeah, great. Um, 
Um, and final question. Um, what advice can you give to um, home buyers uh, that want to enter the market right now? Oh, I think the first uh, the advice is just prepare, like do a little bit of study, look around at what's for sale before you make a decision. Make sure that you're familiar with your finance. Sorry, there, I'll just, <laughs> that's hopeless. Um, the, um, I think, you know, make sure that you're able to what you're purchasing, you can afford, and also be familiar with the area. It's one of the, you know, I think, that, that old saying of location, location, location is still very much at the fore, for most at, at the forefront of people's thinking on where they want to buy. So you know, if it's if you're buying in an area, you want to have, you're going to have a family, and schools are important, or parks, or if it's transport with work, um, whatever. Like think about what your needs are, and then look accordingly. Okay. Thanks for joining us right. this afternoon, Mr. David Milton. Thanks, Alexander. Thank you. Good on you. Thanks. Nice to meet you.